Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 70-year-old female with complaints of ankle pain. The doctors did an uh, x-ray in their office uh, to look at this, and they saw something that looked abnormal down here. They couldn't explain. It's a little piece of bone that went underneath the fibula. So they thought maybe she had a fracture, an old fracture or a new fracture with a bone fragment that was poking out here. Couldn't tell for sure on the x-rays here. It looks not too bad. Oblique view didn't look too bad either, but this just looks funny. So they did an MRI to rule out a fracture. And on the MRI scan we see on this view here, she does have this broad developmental area of the talus. This is the posterior talus, and it's lateral because it's beneath the fibula, but this broad, smooth, bony area that extends beneath the fibula. This explains that funny bony projection on the x-ray. This is not an old fracture. Things are very uniform and smooth, so this is a developmental broadening of that talus. The little irregularity over the edge here could be related to an old injury, or maybe that's just part of this developmental process, but no old fracture. It looks like this is developmental, but there was one other thing. This is the lateral aspect. This is the posterior subtalar joint. We have the calcaneus below, talus, and you can see this lateral side of the articulation looks nice and smooth, but the medial side looks irregular. It looks like there's some joint space narrowing. The cortex is a little irregular. And so now we're going to go over here. Look, this looks like this is kind of broad underneath here as well. Now we're going to put up a sagittal view to look at this better. It's hard to tell, but something is not quite right here. So we'll put up a sagittal T1 weighted sequence. And on this view, we look. We say, okay, things look pretty good. Now we're going to go towards the middle. This is the sinus tarsi. Here's the posterior subtalar joint that we're looking at. It looks actually perfectly normal here. And if we go towards the medial side, it starts to look a little broad. And then one more cut here. This is where it looked irregular on the other projection on the coronal view. But now it looks like there's continuity between the middle subtalar joint and posterior subtalar joint. It looks like one big broad joint and there's a little cortical irregularity here. Now one cut over, this is the far most medial cut. We see this funny continuity again. So this is a broad posterior subtalar joint that just blends with the middle subtalar joint with the joint space narrowing and cortical irregularity. And so this is a coalition, but it's not an osseous coalition where you'd see the bone just bridging together. Those are very easy to spot. This is a fibrocartilaginous coalition where there's no bone bridging, but when you see these two uh, joints blend right in together into one and things are kind of funny and broad. Think about a subtalar uh, joint coalition here, a talo-calcaneal coalition. And uh, again, when you see those, say if they are uh, osseous or if they are fibrocartilaginous. Now if they're osseous, obviously the bone will bridge together. If they're pure fibrous, you'll see a really sharp black line between them, very clean interface. And if they're cartilaginous, you may see a little more irregularity, and sometimes they have secondary erosive changes at the articulation. And if you just can't tell, like this one where it looks pretty narrow, um, like maybe some fibrous union, but other areas that are a little irregular, then you can just give it the junk term fibrocartilaginous because it's not obvious which one it is or if it's simply one or the other. So a fibrocartilaginous a coalition of the uh, calcaneal or talocalcaneal joint, and this patient is older, so this is a mild coalition and it's probably been very well tolerated through their life. That's why they never diagnose it. And there's not much in the way of secondary degenerative change. And that's it. Thank you very much.